Hello YouTube, my name is Nia and today I am in my in my computer room. Not my regular room where I would normally film my videos. This is where you everything you see in my channel edited. I edit my stop motions, my reviews, edit everything, and as you've probably seen the title, I will be making my first behind the scenes video and how to make lightsabers glow one. So, for today, I'm gonna show you how to make lightsabers glow. So, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna make it clear. The software I use to edit my lightsabers is PowerPoint. And you must be thinking, what? PowerPoint is a soft, is a presentation software. How do you do it? So, I'm gonna show you. First of all, you take a picture. I do edit this frame by frame. This thing that you see right here frame by frame. So, yep, I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, you just take the picture. I'll just fast forward through it. So, let's... This is not all the pictures I use in the video, but let's start with that. So, first of all, I make the pictures a bit bigger to fit the screen, the screen that you see in my video, so the, the sort of uh, white edges won't be in the video that you watch. So this is gonna take a bit of time, so let's fast forward. Okay, so... For some images like this one, I don't need to edit a lightsaber because there is no lightsaber to put. Next one, I also not because he just raising his Vader is just raising his hilt. But here you see a bit of red glow. Next one you see more red glow. Next one you see even more, and the even next one you see the lightsaber fully being opened. So why do I do that? To make a sort of effect that the lightsaber is sort of growing out of Vader's hilt. So how do I do it? First of all, I go to home and take shapes. This is a sort of rectangular, sort of a square shape with um, round edges. I can shape the edges to whatever I want. If I just take this yellow thing and just move it to whatever I want, I'll just put it like this. So first of all, I place the um, the shape on the lightsaber blade. Let's just do it fast. Okay, so that doesn't quite look like a lightsaber, but let's keep going. Next up, you, you press twice on the shape and then go to shape fill um, and then press on white to make the lightsaber white then shape outline to, so the outline will make it red you can barely see it but because the background is red but trust me it is red next you go to shape effects glow glow options and that's where you make the lightsaber glow first of all you pick a color in this case you will pick red and then there is the size and the transparency. The size, you can make it whatever you want. I normally do it something like 40 or 50, like this. Probably a bit smaller. And then the transparency, you can make it brighter or weaker. I normally do it in the maximum, or sometimes a bit less. I'll just leave it in the maximum. You can do whatever you want. And there we go! That's the lightsaber, but I'm not finished yet. How do I make the lightsaber effect close? Okay, so I don't make this thing for each frame. I just press right click on the lightsaber, on the lightsaber blade, and copy. That's just it. Then paste, and then I move the hilt exactly to where the hilt is. And that's pretty tricky because there is no blade to put on. You need to put it exactly where the hilt is. Then shrink it a bit, and I think it works great. Then copy, paste, shrink it a bit more, and 
you do it until there is no blade. And, yep. And when it's dark, it's pretty difficult to see where, where to put the lightsaber, especially when there is no blade, but I can manage. Hopefully you can too, and then when you put the frames together, it looks exactly like a lightsaber is opening. And I just do copy, paste, 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 and do And then just fill, fill this thing, fill the, um, the sort of, the sticks. And it looks, to me at least, like a lightsaber, so... This was my behind the scenes video on how to make lightsabers glow. If there's any behind the scenes things you want to see, leave them down in the comments. I also placed another vote for other behind the scenes stuff, so please don't forget to vote. Also, I'll see you next time and goodbye. <laughs>